When you're experiencing the worst day of your life, you know that help is only three digits away. But have you ever wondered what happens after you dial 911? Where does your call go and how does a telecommunicator on the other end know what to do? I'm Captain Melanie Cagle, Navarro County Sheriff's Office. I've been here 21 years. Started out as a dispatcher and went to a patrolman position and then came back as a supervisor. Well, as soon as a call is received, whichever dispatchers available will pick up the line and of course we're able to immediately see pretty much where the caller is and then we have to figure out what exactly the emergency is and what resources need to be sent to help. The way I would explain it is when I bring a new person in um, it's very overwhelming when you look around because you're going to have about anywhere from four to five monitors, a couple keyboards, a couple of phones, so you have a 911 system, you have a CAD system, you have the uh, DPS, TCIC, NCIC screen, uh, you have a Rolodex, you have, there is really unlimited resources because we handle police, fire, medical, so a lot of applications, a lot. Um, stay, your, stay as calm as possible, know your location, because it does not matter what your emergency is. If we do not know your location, we can't help you. So always stay as calm as you can. Uh, be patient with the questions because there's a method behind the madness. Uh, there's reasons that they're asking you or cutting you off when you're telling them something. There's a reason why they're doing it. It's, it's not to be rude or misunderstanding. It's really to try to get to the basics of what they need to get the officer there and keep everybody safe. I would say uh, not to overly concern yourself with calling 911 when you're not sure if it's truly would be considered an emergency. You just know you need help, but you're not really sure which way you should go. Um, understand that a police department or a sheriff's office, any kind of municipality like that, they're going to answer the 911 phone, but they're also going to answer an admin phone. So if you call 911 and it's not a true emergency, they're, they're going to tell you to call another number. Um, they're not going to get mad at you. Um, it's okay to not be certain, but it's better to call than not call. So if you're not sure, call if you need to. Make sure you know your local numbers that are non-emergency lines to your police department or your sheriff's office and keep that in your phone as well.